Hey, this is Colin at Grade A Computer Science. Um, like and subscribe to my channel uh, to get all the best in Grade A Computer Science video and tips. All right, so what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be looking at computer organization and architecture. I'm going to be breaking it down for you. Do a step by step, a series of step by step videos that you'll be able to uh, help that will help you with your um, computer science, help you get grade A. So, what we can do, get in this video, you're going to get an understanding of the six basic components of a computer system. At the end of the session, you should be able to draw out and label a diagram showing the basic internal components of a computer system and be able to answer a few questions about its makeup. All right, so let's move on. All right, so here they are. These are the internal components of a computer system. You've got six components, okay, six components. You've got the processor or the CPU. You've got the main memory. You've got the input-output controllers or the I.O. controllers. You've got the address bus, the data bus, and the control bus. All right, so those six components, you should be able to list them out and uh, draw that diagram all right moving on so first of all what I want to do is look at the CPU now these are the brains of the computer it's very important that you have a CPU because otherwise nothing's going to work and the CPU stands for central processing unit or the processor okay and the processor has some memory on it as well known as registers and those memory that memory can be used for both programs and data so you can actually put program data those are the instructions that you need to make the computer do something and the data on those are, that needs to be operated on yeah and I will explain all that uh, very shortly okay so there's your CPU right so memory is this is the place where information in the form of binary digits is are stored okay the binary digits represent both the instructions and the data on which the instructions are carried out so for example here let's have a look at this blue bit let's say the blue bit is memory okay and within that memory we have well in this case we've got a number of these are decimal numbers these are not binary numbers but it just makes it easy for you to to recognize so these are decimal numbers and these decimal numbers are in different memory locations all right so we know that three and we know that we've got two but there's also an, an instruction which is the plus instruction so we say three which is the data plus so we're saying we need to add three plus another number which is in the memory, memory location so these two numbers in these boxes need to be added so these two numbers could contain any data really but in this case they have three and two so we add the two together because of the instruction three plus two is equal to five and we pop the five or the answer to that number into another memory location all right now we're going to go over this a little bit uh, in another video but that's the idea behind how memory is used excellent now so we're going to look at the buses on a computer not the wheels on the computer sorry the wheels on the bus go around <laughs> the bus the bus on a computer now according to computer architecture a bus is defined as a system that transfers data between hardware components of a computer or between two separate computers all right so you can you can uh, use the bus to convey information between different bits of hardware so you've got the CPU you've got the memory and also we've got the input and output which would be things like the video your monitor or your keyboard so um, it is a set of parallel wires connecting two or more components of a computer. All right, so parallel wires connecting two or more components of a computer. All right, so 
So that's the idea of a bus. And here you've got the control bus, you've got the address bus, you've got the data bus. Excellent. Let's move them up. Now, just by way of illustration, you can see here that um, here is the here are the buses. Right. So here you've got a data bus. All right. Actually. That's input and output because that is um, input output there. As that is, now you can see that one there. That's also going out to your video. Okay, so I'm going to put video. My, my writing is terrible. That's video here. Okay. And um, now, data bus. We've got um, this data bus is going to. You've got. Uh, ROM, which is read-only memory. So that data bus, that data is going to uh, that read-only memory. And you've got the address bus here, that address bus, which is going off to the RAM, which is the random access memory. Okay, so the address bus is connected to the... So you've got these number of, a number of different buses connecting the computer. And they are very, of course, very important. Okay. So there we have it. We've got six components of a computer system. The processor, the main memory, the IO controllers, the address bus, the data bus, and the control bus. That's the diagram that you need. Now pay attention to, particularly to the, the address bus, because notice that the address bus, that arrow, goes in one way. All right? Now I'm gonna do look at this in uh, the next video, but this only goes in one way, all right? So, where well, the others are two way, but we'll look at that in the next video. Okay, so for you, a little exercise in your revision notebook, because you should have a revision notebook, draw and label a diagram of the internal components of a computer system without looking at the drawing. Well, obviously, you might need to revise it, but try and do it without, um, without looking at the at the drawing try and memorize it okay so in the next video we're going to understand a little bit more about the role of the computer system components and how they relate to each other and in actual fact we're going to be looking at the buses on the system this is Colin Baptiste from grade a computer science like subscribe and comment on the video uh, if you've got any questions or any um, any queries, drop me a line at Colin at Grade A Computer Science, and I will certainly endeavour to help you out. See you soon. Bye bye.